I'm Afrina. So this will be a series entitled Let's Talk About and on today's series we have Let's Talk About Stigma. I've invited friends um, from different races, from different gender, from different backgrounds to essentially talk about it and just to listen what other people have to say about it. I hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Nisa Mustafa. Hi, I'm Kadira. I'm Vishant. I'm Sarah Sagaravan. I'm Nisha. I'm Brian. I'm Nazmi. I'm Wilson. Let's talk about stigma. The idea when society shames someone. False beliefs such as if you're depressed, it's all in your head. When society downplays the significance of mental health problems. It is self-inflicted, self-diagnosed. It is something that we should keep hushed or push under the rug because it will bring shame to the family or to the society. It's the negative attitudes and negative beliefs that certain people can have about mental illness and people that have mental health problems. It's the notion that mental health is something that doesn't need to be taken seriously. One sees you in a different or negative way just because that person has mental health issues. Bad perspective of our society on people that have a mental health issue. Seeking help and like aid in it is condemned or looked down upon. There's some kind of flaw associated with suffering from mental illnesses. Things that people say because they just don't really know any better. The mindset of putting shame on these people. The negative perception that people have toward individuals who face mental issues despite its prevalence in our society today. It's the really abhorrent mindset that for some misguided reason makes people see those suffering from mental health disorders in a bad light. Anywhere with relatives, family, friends, parents, and children. Actually, it's quite often, especially in my close friend. Honestly, quite often. It's very often, which is why a lot of people in our society still refuse to acknowledge mental problems as a real issue. Typically, tends to crop up in conversations with members of the older generation who perhaps don't really understand mental health in the same way that younger people do. I actually rarely hear about it which is quite alarming given the rise in number of people who face mental health problems. Well, I actually hear about it pretty often, especially on social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok, it's usually because there's someone that's trying to educate the general public on how we should be understanding mental health and how we should be approaching the subject of mental health. Very often, I would say, being raised up in a family that doesn't even consider mental health issues as a real health issue, I've been taught to walk away avoid those who have mental health issues because they think that they are unstable. It is very often to see people coming up with different labels and stigma for those who have mental health issues in the society and culture that I grew up and also the movies that I've watched growing up. We are going to be hearing it from the older generation, them being less progressive, less educated and less aware of it. If we don't talk about it regularly, then we might end up becoming people who propagate this stigma without even realising it. When a third party comes out and claims that they have a certain type of mental illness that they can be categorised as attention-seeking, even though there's nothing glamorous about having a mental health issue. It's all in your head. One's depression or anxiety is made up. Seeking for attention. Mental health disorders are a pure sign of weakness and nothing else. People who suffer from depression are just mentally weak. Uh, you're just weak. Calling them lazy or unproductive just because a lot of people are still coming to terms with their understanding because it's not really it's not really tangible you can't really see when something's wrong just eat weak and abnormal and they're often seen as people who are seeking excuses for their laziness or um, sadness you're just being sad that's all um, over dramatic crazy mental health disorders are exaggerations and perversions of human behavior and people shouldn't believe in them it's not that hard. People who suffer from social anxiety are just not confident or cowardly. No, you don't have anxiety, you're just being nervous in the moment. You are faking it for attention. Um, you can't really see how another person is feeling. So a lot of stigmas are pertaining to laziness or just being uninspired or not wanting to do anything. And really people just can't do stuff. Attention seekers. You are being sad for no reason. Mad, 
and psycho. They're just sad or even crazy. People who have bipolar disorder are just making up excuses to act or behave in a certain way. PTSD, you can get over it, victimize the perpetrator. People tend to prefer to just blame the victim instead of addressing the real issue. Unstable, it becomes a stigma when people generalize it for the entire community and also use it in the context of spreading hatred. I think especially with the older generation, just because mental health wasn't such a big thing, it wasn't talked about as much, they've sort of lived their entire lives with the belief that people can do it if they want to do it. Therefore, if you can't do something because of your mental health, they don't take it as seriously because they can't see your suffering and they can't see what you're going through. They're really unreliable because you can't communicate with them and you can't work with them. They're really hard to cooperate with and will refuse to be a good and productive member of a team effort. I don't understand why these kind of stigmas exist because from personal experience I can say that this is not true whether you know or do not know how to approach the situation correctly. I don't think that mental health disorders have a connection to any of the stigmas mentioned. The truth is that the what doesn't kill you makes you stronger energy is just very present but very ill-advised when it comes to mental health disorders. People not understanding how difficult and how real uh, mental health issues are it leads to a misunderstanding of the source of a person's problems and how far deep uh, mental health really can go.